Dragon Ball is back and everyone is a kid now, at least the Z fighters and the important people that King Goma is scared of. It was nice to see lore for Dragon Ball because like when I watched Dragon Ball, I was a dumbass kid. I didn't know anything about this show, right? So like different lore about like the demon rule, like Dabura being like demon king shit, I didn't remember. All I remember is that he sh spat at you and you turn into stone. But basically King Goma, he's like, oh no, what if they come after us? Well shit, the Dragon Balls that our place can't be used because they're guarded by these big cyborg, you know, android and robot ant looking things created by another Mechian. Let's go to Earth and then let's use our Dragon Balls. And then now we're all just kids and what are we going to do? I wonder if this is going to be like a serious arc or if it's just going to be like goofy Mickey Mouse season but with a lot of fun. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Only one. <laughs> Bonus for her regular. <laughs> wait, what? When did this happen? This Wait, wait, wait. Does Shenron always do this? Or is he being sassy right now? The first wish ever was done by fucking Piggy, right? And Piggy was like, I, I want panties! And, and Pilif got this, you know, just got cucked, right? But, but that was only one wish back then, because it was an unknown guest. But when did the turning point happen when we got three wishes? Bye. So I guess uh, he's not going to awaken his third eye thing, right? Some sort of relic? Some sort of power? Bald. <laughs> you too, bro. That hairline at this age got to be diabolical, bro. What happened to Vegeta's hairline? Like that make... <laughs> I love Vegeta, but goddamn, bro. This Vegeta hairline just goes crazy. It's an M. It's a literal M. <laughs> Even their father-in-law, Piccolo. <laughs> I thought that maybe only Piccolo would be left like an adult, so he could like you know, uh, what's the word? Like daycare, right? Like babysit us, because he's pretty much like the the parent of the group. Yeah. Bro, just make him do it again. Can't Mr. Namekian here, Stinky Breath, just. Just gather all the Dragon Balls again? And like the cooldown doesn't seem to matter either. Just do it again. Yeah. Mr. Popo without the hat. No, don't kill him. It's just a cute kid. You can't kill him. Oh my god, they're using a toddler as a hostage. I don't think about that's really funny. Mr. Popo as a kid just getting pushed away. This is so unserious. It feels like we're taking a lollipop out of a kid. Yeah, they didn't turn into actual babies, but like, I love how Chi Chi and Boma, like, they are, they're basically just shrunk. Like, like, they don't look younger. They just basically just shrunk mini size of what they used to be. They can talk? Telepathically? Golten is literally Goku's voice actor, right? Wonder if they can. I wonder if they can do the fucking fusion dance. <laughs> Turn to go tanks here. Probably not. <laughs> Mr. Satan, Hercule. The hero, the true hero of Earth. That is crazy though. That his Japanese name is Mr. Satan. English dub is like Hercule, right? Why Satan? Like Satan? Like it's, it sounds like he's the devil himself. <laughs> The girls love this. Exactly. We just shrunk.
if he didn't have a happy family with, you know, 18, I would think that this is fucked up and he's getting cucked. But Krillin, honestly, is living the dream. My man bagged Android 18 and has a daughter. He's living the dream. <laughs> Vegeta's always been short, too. Ultra Super Hero. This is a kid again, right? They didn't get younger, they just shrank. Look at this on the far left, bro. That Kai is not a kid, it's a grandpa shrunk. The powers are very not controlled now. Master Roshi! <laughs> Yo, I thought it was Krillin. Yeah. Now, you know how Roshi does that thing where he like gets super jacked and he like grows in size? And like a grandpa doing that shit is funny? But I bet if a baby kid did that, it'd also be funny. I want to see that. Like, turn into a huge muscular form, but like, as like a kid. That's so weird. Roshi like this. This is so fucking weird. But okay, big bro. Big Kamesin. He's still no race though. Whoa. Mr. Popo! Where's Dende? I can't believe they leaked it. They're so stupid. They leaked where they came from. Uh, Mr. Popo should not be aware. If they didn't know, we, they pr we would have never figured it out. If they never announced Daima, bro. Mm -hmm. She's his younger brother, right? Mm -hmm. How important is Neva? It's probably super important. How? Ask Bulma. I'm sure Bulma can figure it out. They got a spaceship? I didn't know Kibito could also instant transmission. This shit just looks like a thing that Trunks uses to time travel. I'm sure it will, or else we're fucked. What? Easy. But Goku can't control his powers anymore. Wonder if he could even instant transmission properly. Nope. Nobody's good at it. Bonk! <laughs> Piccolo, Piccolo nose bleed. Forgot also that he has like an antenna and like he bleeds, you know, purple. Interesting how the voice actors just sound way more young, you know? They gotta try it. Oh, I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, there was in the Supreme Kai world. SS3 versus Kid Buu was in Supreme Kai world, okay. We got 10 days to wait. Send her into the hyperbolic time chamber. We don't got 10 days to wait. But can we, is, is a hyperbolic time chamber still a thing actually? Boo destroyed it. 
the entrance. We couldn't get out. Or in. Right? And then we had to scream. And then... Like a dimension portal opened and we got out. But like... Hyperbolic time chamber is no longer a thing, is it? Oh, we're really doing this outside, 10 days. More control over power. Their legs are shorter, so his range, right? Everything gets recalibrated. <laughs> Still not enough. What the fuck? You didn't have to break it? We're really nerfed. Okay, bye. Yeah, Mr. Popo. Also Demon Realm. Permission. There was that big fish monster thing. Kibito just gets pushed around. <laughs> Kibito is literally just our pawn to just instant transmission to pick up goods. I kind of feel bad. Oh, Mr. Cat thing that's with Yajirobe. Karin. What is Nyoibo? The stick. Yeah, because like that was used to extend all the way up to where the uh, quote-unquote god was, right? Which was another Namekian back in the day. That shit was like our core weapon back in Dragon Ball when Goku was just a kid, right? That and Nimbus Cloud. Now that we don't really need those shit as an adult. But now, back as a kid, let's get the pull back. Get Nimbus back. I want to know what Yaji Robe is up to, though. Bro, he just looks like Krillin without the fucking six dots on his head. Oh, she's having a lot of fun with this youth. He's practicing poses for the ladies. <laughs> she used as a fucking laundry pole. Um, the other example of this is Konosuba movie, right? Konosuba, the uh, movie with the Crimson Witch, Crimson Mages, right? Where a railgun. The railgun that was needed to like defeat the monsters, right? It was being used as like a laundry pole. <laughs> Lee, that's a lot of food. Dude, the food on that table looks amazing. Wow. The pole is back! Cool. You're gonna fuck up the food! Okay, we got the range. Yeah, what's he gonna use now for the laundry? Bro, the takeout looks so good. Holy! There should be like 20 bowls stacked up. The same hunger. You are. Orayamada 
So is it Namekians don't like to be ruled? Is this the person that left also? Remember, there was another girl, right? Part of uh, Goma's group, the researcher girl. And wasn't it pretty much hinted the last episode that someone has already left, right? As, as, as soon as they're about to leave on their fish ship robot thing, there was like, oh yeah, someone actually left earlier. But they're showing up just now? I think so. Maybe we can use that ship to go back. Let's hijack it. Oh, Arinsu, whatever her name is. It's the guy, it's the guy. It's not Arinsu at all. It's the, um... The blue-skinned uh, other Kai-looking guy that we saw in the opening. Whoa! Who are you? Yo. Voice actor is very familiar. You know him. <laughs> sure. Works with me. Fuck it. What? what does he have against Goma though? Last episode, was he like stalking? He was kind of around. What does he have against Goma? Is Goma just an incompetent ruler? Is that a good enough reason? <laughs> He's basically Pilaf 2.0. <laughs> He's that powerful, really? Maybe I'm underestimating him. Someone was watching during the Boo Saga? How many demon worlds are there? Just a shitload, right? Yeah. Everyone should be going. That's right, it's personal now. Supreme Kai can be your guide, kind of. Boma, you wanna come? Also, yeah, imagine being Boma, bro. For like the past how many days she's just been like working on this shit. And now we don't even need her anymore. What does it normally do? We can't trust him? He seems like a decent dude. He has so much future sight. What do you mean? You didn't even... What do you, what the, you, you literally just looked at the outer car. Like, imagine there's a fucking car. You just look at the fucking body paint. And like the, just like a parts outside, and you're like, yep, I understand how the engines work inside. I mean, she is a genius. Let's go. True. Three kids are probably one adult. Okay. So Boma's work actually, actually isn't going to waste. This is interesting. They're going to have other people show up later on. So I'm going to imagine a point where like by the time Vegeta and crew shows up, it's going to be a moment where like we're in danger and something bad's about to happen. Then boom, we get bailed out by who? Vegeta and crew. Soundtrack going crazy. And that, today's episode of Dragon Ball Daima. It's a um, setup episode, right? I mean, first episode, everyone's hype about it. You know, it's nostalgia's coming back. Today's episode was also a lot of nostalgia, right? Like, we're back to kid mode, and kid mode, you know, uses the extender pole, right? The Nyoibo. I'm surprised that we didn't see the, uh, what's it called? The Nimbus Cloud. But looking at the ending, it's looking like we're riding something else that may, uh, you know, replace the Nimbus Cloud. And plus, we can still fly, so we don't, it's not like we really need that shit. So what's happening? Glorio is also Demon Realm. 
third world was told by his king. He knows all about Goku and them, but who knows exactly how we were shrunk. He's not surprised by that. There's something suspicious about Glorio, but he's basically saying, hey, come save the Demon Realm, uh, defeat Goma, and everything's gonna be good. So what are we gonna do? We go to Demon Realm. We probably have to collect the Demon Dragon Balls, right? We'll fight those uh, Tamigami somethings. And then we'll grant our wish to become not children anymore? Probably. And to prevent Goma from, like, unlocking that third eye thing. I still wonder where Mr. or, or Mrs. Uh, Arinsu went. She actually, I think it was hinted that she left earlier before Goma left. But maybe it was Glory all this time. Or maybe, you know, she's still doing something else. I don't really know. But that's it from me. If you're still here, if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.